Welcome to our Geology 101 field trip. We will be starting in Greenfield at Greenfield Community College and then heading through the fields of Deerfield, around to Sunderland, and then stopping in Northfield. The GCC Geology Path at the south end of the main building preserves local specimens that illustrate Franklin County's amazing and diverse geological history. Please see the Geopath Guide available online or in a box at the top of the path. Next, head south along routes 5 and 10 and turn into the historic town of Deerfield. This roadside stop reveals an old oxbow where the Deerfield River once flowed. As you continue along Main Street and then onto Mill Village Road, you will see many other examples of river oxbows from the Deerfield River hundreds of years ago. Here we are at the West Deerfield Cemetery. You have crossed the floor of Lake Hitchcock and are now at the shoreline. This is a small delta where the Mill River, coming down from Conway, entered Old Lake Hitchcock. Cemetery stones are always very interesting. The Sunderland Delta was built by a glacial meltwater stream. Because of two gravel pits, we can get a great view into Delta structure. After just a few days, dry sand and gravel can slide and cover the underlying layers When you look into the gravel pits, you can see the delta forset beds. The slopes of the forset beds reveal the branching stream directions as the delta was built.
The Roaring Brook Trail takes us from the old metamorphic and igneous rocks of the ancient Appalachian Mountains. We cross the border fault at the railroad tracks and then see the sedimentary layers of the old Rift Valley. The waterfall is from a very short drainage down the slopes of Mount Toby. From the waterfall, we're going to follow Route 63 all the way to Northfield. Old Vernon Road is along Route 142 in West Northfield. We see a wonderful glimpse of late glacial history here. The road follows an esker, which is a meltwater stream deposit from an ice tunnel. There are kettles, remnants of the glacier, on either side of the esker. The meltwater stream that was coming out of the ice flowed into Lake Hitchcock and built a delta, now a large gravel pit. The view here is from the old shoreline edge of that delta. The cars are driving down the formerly underwater forset slope, leading down to the flat lake floor. In the distance are bedrock hills glacially eroded into roche moutonnet shapes. The lower level is an extensive river-cut terrace. It was formed directly after Lake Hitchcock drained and the river came back to its valley and started to cut back and forth, forming this wide terrace. The terrace is so extensive because the river was held up by a temporary base level. That was the waterfall in Barton Cove at the Lily Pond Barrier. We saw that abandoned waterfall on our last field trip. This is our last stop today. And what a dramatic, interesting, and perhaps a bit complicated story. It's one of glacial melting, delta building, and then post-lake river erosion. There is one more thing to see on your way home today. Berniston and Gill are in a field of drumlins. Look at the oval shapes here. Are they glacial till or eroded bedrock? Franklin County is the best place in the world to study geology. We have had great experiences exploring this geological history. I'm sure you will never see the world in the same way again.